Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, we will be taking a look at the Tractor Up knife set by Charade, so stay tuned. I was visiting my local tractor supply store because I like to check out knives they have in a little carousel thing. They have some nice case knives, Charade, Smith & Wesson, and uh, some various other brands. But anyway, um, great place if uh, you're a knife collector. And uh, on my way back, you pass the bargain bins that they have right behind the registers. And they have some bargain bins off to the side. And anyway, this was hanging there. And what really caught my eye from this set is this Barlow right here. Because I don't even own one. And I call myself a knife collector. So I'm like, well, holy crap, 17 bucks for three knives? And it has the Barlow that I wanted to add to my collection? This got to be a good deal. It's from Tractor Supply, right? It's called Tractor Up. They got a picture of a Tractor back there. So Sheree made this special, obviously, for Tractor Supply. And um, they probably didn't sell too well because they're old-fashioned. They're not black. They're not tactical that everybody wants right now. So hence the uh, markdown. <laughs> but... um. I'm wondering if they're worth it. You know, uh, it's kind of hard to believe you get three dives for, for 17 bucks. So let's take a close look. I went ahead and opened this up so it'll be a little bit easier. Anyway, um, Charade. Charade um, is owned by Taylor Brands. Taylor Brands makes Charade knives. Uncle Henry, Old Timer, Imperial, and Smith and & Wesson. And uh, probably some others too. But... Um, you know, so they're not the charade that was, you know, around years and years and years ago, or some people might call it charade, I don't know, charade, charade, whatever, I always got to pronounce something wrong, and I'm sure I'm going to do it before the end of the video. Now, charade has always been hit and miss for me, I've gotten some knives that I absolutely love, some of my favorites, and then there's some that are absolute crap that I've even returned, and, um... Uh, I'm obviously not going to return this because seventeen dollars. My expectations are not really high at all. Does it come with a warranty? Yeah, it says limited lifetime warranty. If uh, you have your glasses on, you could go ahead and freeze frame if you're you're interested in reading all that crap. And and there's uh, I guess the skew or whatever if you want to look it up. Two thousand ten, made in China, of course. Of course, it's made in China for this price. Um, as far as steel is concerned for these blades, uh, the best I can come up with is that the probability is pretty high that it is 440A. 440A or something comparable to 440A. And uh, the blade lengths are obviously all over the place here. Some of these have three blades, some of these have two blades. This guy got three blades right there. This guy got two blades. But um, I bought it for the Barlow because I don't even own one and um it just uh caught my eye <laughs> caught my eye so let's see how does this feel well first of all um lock up is not super super tight but it's not weak either so it does have a little bit of a snap which is good that means it's uh, somewhat secure let's see what the um length is on this one since this is the one that uh, got me uh all excited. This is a, uh, I don't know, two, two and a quarter, two and a third. I'd say about two and a quarter, two and a quarter inches. Weight. Bring out my drug scale. <laughs> I know people. That's what people are thinking. And no, I don't do drugs. Um, let's see. This guy here is uh, two and a half ounces. How about these other guys here? Let's see what these weigh. This one, 2.35, and that's the one with three blades, wow. Uh, I'll tell you, these blades are very, very thin here. And uh, that one, actually, is pretty tight. This, by the way, is dangerous, because if you slip, you go into the other edge. Um, I, I speak from experience. Um, I notice there's no markings here, like, you know, charade, or made in USA, or made in China. There's nothing on the tang there on these you know uh, I think these bolsters are just stainless steel I don't think they're anything fancy the uh, handle material on this set 
is a uh, celluloid handle. So it's a synthetic thing made to look like uh, Mother of Pearl, I would call it. Yeah, pearloid, pearloid handle is what they call it. But it's fake, it's synthetic. It has some nice brass pins. Nothing is uh, jabbed out here. So everything feels like it, it's sort of put together. Obviously the the little tractor they have here is just glued in. You know, it's a little cut out and glued in there. It's not pinned or anything. You're not going to get that for, for this price. This is a nice touch right here. I mean, it really looks uh, from afar old school. <laughs> you know, if it were truly old school, you'd probably see brass um, between the blades and all that good stuff. But um, stainless steel holds up a lot better, um, although it's not as pretty. We could look at some fine detail in there. You can see some of the metal's not finished. The greatest, you know, where you can't see. But, uh, let's see what this other blade here, how that feels. Lockup is good. I'll tell you what, I'm very pleasantly surprised. Because if you take 17 divide, divided by 3, and, and that's how much each of these knives cost, it's uh, crazy. Crazy. It actually feels pretty good, too. You know what? I, I'm already going to tell you right now that this was a good buy. <clears throat> Absolutely a good buy. Let me see. The largest blade that you get in the set... Let's see. Do, 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 do. It's three... It's two and a half. See a two and a half inch right there. Looks like the largest blade that you get in this whole set. Let's see. Oh, this one's a little bit longer. This is a uh, two and two and three quarter almost. And let me see. Is this other one a spade blade? Let's see. Yeah, that's a spade blade used for castration of animals. This one doesn't have, you know, very good lock up. I mean, it's there. It just doesn't have that nice snap. Let's see. Everything looks fairly tight. You can see it's not perfect you know these these are up a little higher than the rest there but um pretty close this one the fit and finish is pretty good i can see a very slight gap right there um other things in cheap knives usually uh between the whatever material they're using and the and the bolster you would have all kinds of uneven gaps or whatever and actually there are no gaps there on that one how about see this one you could see it's not matched up perfect. There's a little bit of a gap there. A little bit of a nick scratch there. You know, so, the, I mean, really nice. Really nice set. Um, the little tractor badge is a very, very nice touch. I'll tell you, for you know, if these things are still on sale at your local um, tractor supply, and, and you just wanted a, a, you know, just a group of different ones, a nice, you know, it would make a great gift. You're looking for an inexpensive gift to give somebody, you know, that, that's not expensive. This is definitely worth it. And uh, even for your for a knife collector, you just want a, a little cheap thing to just throw in your pocket where you don't want to go all tactical. Um, these are nice. These are nice. Let's see if they're sharp. You know, that's probably the most important thing, by the way. This tractor up on there. If I get the light right, nothing on the other side. Again, no tang stamp or anything like that. Clip point. Um, definitely feels sharp on that point there. I'm not going to put this through all the crazy testing that I normally do. Um, okay, you can see it, it's very. That was a very fine cut there. Um, it feels like it's a uh, micro serrated. You know what I mean? You see, it's it's not super, super sharp, and it has like that micro serration, so it actually will cut really good. It just doesn't cut paper because it's sort of that, that serrated, micro serrated edge. I don't know if I can get that really close. So you can, there you go. You can see that edge. It's just a little jaggedy from the machining, and they left it like that. So it'll actually probably tear through meat like nothing. And you can see that um, it definitely cuts paper if you cut it no you know like you would a micro serrated edge and I might have made that term up I don't know um no problems with uh, folding in you know it's not banging up against the uh, 
the liners in there looks fine nice little nail nicks nothing special there you can see how much springs coming up there let's see you can see that really really nice and um, you know certain countries where it's concerned where you gotta have you can't have a locking blade um, you know this they don't lock really nice I wanted to open up all the blades so I could sort of classify them against the Barlow this is probably like a, a trapper type of pattern and this is more of a stockman pattern real quick so and again yeah, th these are all slip joints so really nice so let's go ahead and wrap things up you know I should have just made sure there's no side to side play on one or two of these real quick just to make sure we don't have any fundamental problems alright everything seems to be made fairly well um, definitely beyond my expectations of a seventeen eighteen dollar seventeen dollar set of three knives so charade um, I think you, you pulled off a winner I do recommend them if you see them or something like it I love that guy. I got Marlow. <laughs> I was looking for one. Alright, well, thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession channel. I really appreciate every friend, viewer, subscriber, and especially you. And I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye. I was in Tractor Supply, you know, just sort of looking around. They have a little knife carousel thing that you could check out. And they got uh, some pretty nice knives, especially from... Um, and it just... Poof, crap.